Okay, I think I've done this. Yes, okay. Mule. I need you a little higher. This is really hard. This new camera, while offering me new possibilities, is really difficult to use. Because I'm a noob at this Nike stuff. Okay. Bow. No, no. Please focus on me. Okay. I think I got it. I think I think I got it. I don't know whether whether I got you right. My camera tilts down. I don't. I don't like that. I know you're heavy. I know you a chunky camera. Like I'm a chunky person. Just have a little respect for the chunk. Okay. I think I've worked this out. Yes. Okay. So I got a new camera, and this is my first time using it. It's very, um, it's a big kid camera, and I am still a baby when it comes to all of this. So I am still figuring it out. So it might be a little um, special for a little bit <laughs> while I figure out how to use this thing because it's great. It's like fancy. I have like a boom microphone and like a lens that I like stick on it. It's it's fancy. Anyway. Today, I have a haul for you. I have been waiting to film this haul for a really long time. Oh, there's something on my lens already. Seriously, yo. I had this camera for like 15 minutes. Okay. Now we're back. Lamorous. Okay. Focusing. I am a hot mess today, but I'm hot at least. Hey. So, I have a box of stuff. So today's haul is from Fashion to Figure. I bought a whole bunch of stuff. I'm gonna open the box. I'm gonna show you the stuff. I'm gonna try on the stuff. I'm gonna talk about why I like or dislike said stuff. And then I will ask you to subscribe. Wait, I can do that now. Hit the subscribe if you haven't yet. It's my angry and forceful voice. Um, and probably crack some jokes and sing some songs which will lead one stranger to comment that they think I'm insane and I should stop singing. And to that one stranger I say, I'm never gonna stop singing. I'm never gonna stop it at all. So if you don't like it, just don't just subscribe. Like you don't have to watch my videos. Solutions. Okay, time to open the box. Away from the body. Away from the body. No injuries. I'm putting it down and I'm gonna grab the stuff out. Wait a minute, my light is terrible. Can I, for the life of me, get my act together? Okay, now I'm here. I'm in line. See how much better the light is when you turn the other ambient light off? Yeah, I know, way better. Anyway, here we have a leopard print coat. So this is the jacket. One thing to note, it's a little bit smaller in the arms than I would like. I can still wear it. I just probably can't wear like a bulky sweater underneath it. Additionally, the wrap is really nice and it is works it is works, it does work for a pear shape. So I'm pretty pleased with this, but again, a little disappointed in the room, in the arms, because I won't be able to wear any heavier sweater. That said, it's very, very warm. So maybe I don't need one when I wear this. It is a wrap style coat, so there's actually no buttons. I can tell, oh, well there's like one button, there's a snap that like goes around to the neck side. So I guess you snap it at the top and then just tie it closed. It's not as furry as I would like and it's not as pelty either. It's kind of like this weird, like not quite fur, not quite wool. It is a weird fabric. I don't know how I feel about it to be candid. It's a little weird. It is lined in acetate. Our least favorite lining material, but everybody uses it, so you don't have any choice. You guys are stuck with it. Again, it feels different than I would expect it to feel. Not bad, per se, just different. It looks fairly long, and it does look like it's going to give some room in the hips, so we'll see, because if it doesn't close on my hips in the video to the side, then you know that everything I just said is gibberish. Now, I am curious what the outer is made of, because it is such a weird feeling. Like, I don't know how to explain Feels like I'm gonna start singing about my love of something because that's like how all those love songs start. Like, I've got a feeling, blah, 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 blah. It's all polyester. It's all polyester. So another weird use of polyester that I don't fully understand. You know what it's kind of like? I've reached a conclusion here. It is like Old Navy, Old Navy, Old Navy performance lace. It reminds me of that texture, but like a little bit thicker. 
It literally reminds me of performance lease. That's it. That's what I am reminded of now. <laughs> and now I'm going to sing that jingle for like the next probably four days because that thing is a very sticky song. I mean, it lived everywhere in the late, actually early 2000s. I was going to say 90s, but I'm pretty sure it's 2000s. Next thing I got is just some gloves. It's cold, yo. It's like really cold. I want to see if these fit my hands. So rather than doing my side by side, I'm just gonna try them on here. I have big old hands. Like I have bigger hands than most. And so even, like I've got man hands. In fact, you guys comment about my hands a lot, how you think they're pretty. They're just big, the big old hands. So I am hoping these fit. I didn't know there was such thing as like plus size gloves, but mm, unbeknownst to me, there is. And these have bedazzling on them. So they have little yellowy bedazzles. I don't know. I just want to do this a lot, like spare fingers. I'm literally going to do this every time I see somebody for the first time. I'm going to be like, oh, hello. I didn't see you for a while. Have you seen my gloves? My gloves. OK, I've done this enough. They're really soft. They're quite warm. They've got this nice, like, faux fur lining on the inside. It's like a lady in there, but you know that's going to get caked with sweat and nasty within, like, I'm going to give it a week. I'm going to give it a week before these are gross on the inside. Let's be honest, we all sweat. And in the winter, I'm putting all this, like, lotion and stuff on my hands to keep them from, like, literally falling apart and just becoming their own country. So it's going to have all kinds of crud in them within a week. Honest. Oh, I got jewelry. I never get jewelry. You guys have asked me to get some accessories. So probably when I was shopping, I was like, I should get jewelry. So, oh, this is a glam -a mama necklace. It's a lot of things. We got a pearl strand. We got a chain strand. We got a random rhinestone strand and a ball strand. We got a couple more strand chains and a chain strand and a tiny pearl. It's a lot. This is a lot of necklace. This is not for... The necklace faint of heart. I'm trying to get it open. It's like jewelry is always so hard to get out of the package. Okay, we got it out. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna try it on here. So one thing I will note here is it doesn't have that long of a chain. So I'm a little nervous. I guess it's supposed to fit like a choker like that. Um, <coughs> I can fit it a bit longer, but again, it's not super super long so if you have a super meaty neck and you don't want this to be a choker then you should probably not get this because I got a decently meaty neck and that's where that sits for me is kind of closer to like almost a choker level and um, yeah I'm saying if you got that meaty neck this is probably not the necklace for you this is for a moderately meaty neck or someone who really wants an unusual choker now getting it off with no moral support is oh wow and now my hair is in it Jewelry sometimes is my friend. It's so hard. You can watch me struggle as I'm like, how do I get this off? And of course, I bit all my nails off on my left hand. So it physically hurts to get stabbed with the little claspy thing. Okay, I'm leaving it on. I cannot figure out how to get it off. So guess what? I just accessorized my outfit. Don't I look cute? Also, my elbows are super itchy because just today I shot outside in the cold and now everything is chapped. Literally everything is trapped. It's the worst. I got amazing photos, but everything is itchy and trapped and dry. So don't do that. It's not good. Next, more pearls. Maybe I can just play like Pretty Pretty Princess. You guys remember Pretty Pretty Princess where you would like, as you reach different levels, get to accessorize? Okay, party foul on these freaking earrings. I literally just opened them and this just like bloop fell off. It wasn't even on there anymore. So these suck. Don't buy these. That's like the worst when you get a pair of earrings and it's like meh. I mean that one earring thing, I could try to bring that back, but I was really hoping for like a Madonna moment with these because they're so ridiculous and large. I'm sure I can super glue them back together. It just annoys me, right? Like nobody wants to open a package and have stuff broken. And it also makes me think it's only a matter of time before this one goes ship. Like, let's let's try to see how hard it would be to break this. You ready? Just lightly. I lightly pulled it off. I didn't even try to tug and this came off. So these are, <clears throat> don't buy, terrible, awful. Like literally, I just lightly pulled. Either that or I'm just super strong, 
Oh, check out those muscles. Mm. Mm. No, these are crap. Bah. I'm angry about that. That's a waste of my monies. But I do have this necklace that I can't get off that I will be wearing for the next four days because I cannot figure out how to get it off. So the next item is actually because you guys have been asking me to try it on, which is jeans. You guys have asked me to try out the fashion figure jeans. I've never tried them. These may or may not fit me. I have no clue. So in a couple minutes, you're gonna hear me go off about how these pearls are attached. I just took a closer look at them. They are a little bit of individual knotting, but still not super high quality. That said, these jeans frit, fit, frit, uh, fit really, really well. Like, someone was asking me to check out the fit. Well, the fit is good. The fit is really good. Um, the only thing I would change, and you can see me hiking a little bit in the back, is that just a little bit more booty room. But that's me with an abnormally sized booty. So the reality is for most girls, that's not gonna be an issue, but it's not even like a huge issue. I mean, I just put these on, I didn't adjust them at all. So that was literally me just doing like the basic adjustments. But other than that, they're super comfortable and I would definitely recommend checking them out because they're not expensive comparatively to like other brands to get this you know style of jean and these are really cute like you know when you expect something to be really crappy when you try it on like, then I tried these on and they're like great so again always try things because you never know what's going to meet your expectations and what's going to surprise you and fashion to figure with denim surprised me today um it all comes down to how the brain cuts hips and thighs I have big old thighs so let us do that they have some nice stretch to them I got these because yes, I'm falling on that stupid train of everybody wanting everything bedazzled with pearls. I also have a denim jacket in the same color and I was just thinking, oh my gosh, I could totally be like 1990s Justin Timberlake and Britney Spears when they wore like denim tuxedos to the award show, except modernized with pearls. Actually, I don't even know if that's modern. It still just might be really bad 2000 style coming back. but. I really hope they fit so that I can have that terrible Canadian tuxedo. Oh, and I think I have a sweater that's also bedazzled with pearls, so I can literally make it just a really obnoxious lookbook. Oh man, yes, yes. So they have a really nice stretch to them. Um, one thing that is bothering me, and I'm just gonna point it out here, and I might be being super picky here, but I don't know if you notice, but the distance of the pockets from this seam is slightly off. I don't ever like bring this up because I don't usually notice it on denim, but I am noticing, and I don't know if this one's a little more cockeyed, but I don't know if you can see, do you see that this one is just slightly over from this one? So that's a little annoying. I mean, it's not that really that noticeable. Maybe like this, hopefully this like butt cheek's a little bigger, so you forget about that. I don't know. The front's got some distressing, which is interesting to be selling it this season because it's cold AF right now. And I, I probably will wear these for five minutes and then freeze my butt off. But I'm trying them out because you guys asked me. But that is my first note. These are not evenly spaced. The front actually looks really well designed. I'm going to look at how these pearls are actually sewn on. Okay, here's a casualty. So I will show you in a jacket later this week in a Macy's haul the difference between quality attachment of pearls and poor attachment of pearls. Quality attachment of pearls, you'll see each pearl individually attached, okay? The reason that's important is because if you catch a pearl on a doorknob or like just somewhere in general and that pearl goes flying, you're not gonna lose the rest of the pearls on your outfit. It's just gonna be an MIA pearl from your look. However, when pearls are sewn like this, in one long stream with looped sewing here, you lose one pearl, you lose them all. It is the death of the pearl jeans. So with something like this where you are doing a 3D texture, I avoid generally things that are sewn like this because you are gonna lose them. Now you are gonna have to pay more for the metal enforced or the single knotted pearl structures, but they are going to last significantly longer. Now, if you're like, look, I wanna wear these a couple times and then I'm okay if I just have a plain pair of jeans or like a very barren pearl look, then that's fine, that's not something to worry about. But just something to think about, always look at the back when you see pearls attached and you'll be able to very quickly tell if it's a high quality attach or a, a low quality attach. This is a low quality attach. Again, any type of 3D embellishment, you wanna look for individual attachment, not grouped attachment. Even with sequins, you'll see that a good 
a sequined outfit like I've seen this with some of the Illiqui pieces they are attached in sections and then those sections are individually sewn as well so that means the sequins if you lose one you don't lose every single sequin you have on the outfit so things to note about for and to note for embellishment is just to always look at that structure next is this has got to be something New Year's New Year New Year near near Nathana New Year's EB. So I tried to try this on, but the problem is, is this bottom part won't go over my butt. And this top part also won't go over my butt. So while there is plenty of extra room here, the zipper does not extend far enough to allow us ample bootied girls to actually get the fabric over our butt before zipping up. So. I unfortunately wasn't able to try this on, and it is going backsies. Ooh, this is sexy. So the top, it's a dress, obviously. The top is this like mesh sweetheart cutout. That's when you have the dip down in the front and the accentuation like a heart. It's a sweetheart neckline because it literally is like the top of a heart. You have mesh sleeves down to the to the wrist. You have an exposed zipper in the back. If you can see it, it's exposed. If you cannot see it, it's hidden. And the bottom of the dress is this really interesting sequin print, very Art Deco in style. Um, and when we look at Art Deco, we talk about things like referencing bees, we have honeycomb in here, and then very strong, bold pattern delineation. I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at the actual construction. Uh, it's actually quite difficult to do because it's sewn, uh, has a lining sewn in it, which is a good thing, because if it's lined in sequins, it's not gonna hurt. Um, this is actually sewn with a clear plastic um, thread. <laughs> uh, I don't know how traditionally strong that thread is. I haven't seen it on a lot of sequin work. Um, typically you see like a similar color thread. Uh, I can't really tell how well these are sewn on, but feeling the dress itself, they feel pretty sturdy. One thing I will note, and I've seen this terrible trend, where brands will do something sequin and they will just sequin the front. I hate that, it's so gross. So, I am very grateful that both sides are fully sequined in this pattern. When we look on the pattern on the side, it does not um, ideally match up. Now the challenge is, is this pattern itself is pretty complex, so I don't know if they would be able to match it up for each size, that would make it very, very, very expensive. So sometimes when we're looking at things like sequin fabric and matching it up, sometimes it doesn't match up because simply the cost implications of trying to match up sequins means you would literally have to change the sequin pattern for every single size. Frankly, at this price point, that's totally not worth it. Now, if you're paying $3,000 for a sequin gown, yeah, that pattern damn well better match up. But on this, it makes sense that they didn't do that. So I'm trying to educate you guys a little bit more on pattern matching so it makes sense when you should look for it and when it doesn't make sense financially for the brand. <sighs> I got something velvet again. I'm always getting that velvet. How do I, oh, there we go. <laughs> opity, 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 open. Man and me. What is these? Oh, they are velvet pants. So these are the velvet leggings. I had really hoped that they would be awesome. They're very, very comfortable, but they have one kind of, to me, major flaw. While they fit really well, the waistband is a little loose. And I just feel like if I wore these, that eventually they would fall down. Um, you can even see like there's a little extra fabric here. So I'm actually not, stretching the waistband much right now and I'm cons I like can feel that they're not going to stay up. So this is kind of a bummer. These are also um, going to be returned. <laughs> you win some, you lose some. I think they're leggings and they lace up. <laughs> the front. I could have really used these today when I filmed a lookbook in booty shorts. You'll see it later. It's holiday themed. It'll make sense, I swear. <laughs> like I was in booty shorts for Christmas. No, there's real there's really a reason. I have the hiccups right now, so if you hear me doing this, like, it's because I'm like trying to swallow a hiccup. Everything is fighting me here. New camera, I don't know how to work the lighting, and I don't know. So these are interesting. I don't know how I feel about them seeing them. I didn't expect them to be crushed velvet. I actually thought they would be um, like a matte velvet. And they feel like different than leggings, a lot thicker, but they kind of given me like MC Hammer vibes in like a good way. 
So I feel like this is something that you'll just have to look at my try-on part to kind of make a decision. Well, actually, you've probably already seen my try-on part, but I haven't actually tried these on now, so I don't know how I feel about them. They're really soft, though. This is the thing why I love velvet. It's not that it's a luxe fabric. It's not that it looks pretty. It's literally because velvet feels like pajamas. Every single thing I wear in velvet, I'm like, oh, yeah, that pajama vibe. That's why I like it. It's literally just that and it's funny that it's such like a perceived high-end fabric because to me I'm like oh it's like a juicy couture jumpsuit that was so cool back in the day but fashion and I'm like I'm all on that trip I was on the juicy sweatpants trip who else was on that boat we all were on that boat let's be honest we all had one nobody did not have one don't even try to say you didn't because if you didn't have a juicy one you had a knockoff juicy one we all had one because why they were comfortable Another thing, I don't know what it is. It's really fun when I go shopping and then forget, which is essentially what happened here. Oh, this is cute. So this is like a little mock neck sweater. I really like this. It's very comfortable. It's very soft. I could wear this all day. I'm a big fan. And um, I love this. <laughs> mock neck. And it has a little ruffle here on the sleeve. And it goes down just to a normal sleeve, but it's a cold shoulder. <laughs> it's literally a cold shoulder right now because it's so cold. I actually kind of want to do this idea where I put something underneath these that's like a really bold, contrasting color. Because I just think that would be a really fun way to play up a cold shoulder. Because nobody wants their shoulders exposed right now. But that idea of like a color pop using that shoulder exposure for that, that's probably what was going through my mind when I got this. Because I've been thinking about doing that real hard. Like, you know, like a gold or like a bright blue or just something unexpected, maybe even like a light pink, is gonna be lit. I'm gonna tell you, whenever I do said lookbook that I just envisioned, it will be lit. It's a very soft fabric. This is a type of shirt that I feel comfortable in all day. It's not itchy, it's um, got a nice little stretch to it, but not too much. I'm gonna look at what it's made out of. It is made out of rayon and nylon, the nylon's um, probably what's making it soft. Actually, I don't know. I made that up. I have no clue. I have no clue, but it is very, very comfortable. This is a, this is a good piece for lounging. And then again, doing some exciting fashion things. Apparently I was really feeling the color wine because I got another wine colored thing. Ooh, just this is sexy. This is okay. This is a date dress. <laughs> okay. So this dress is super, super flattering, but I have noticed it is a little baggy up here because I'm not as <laughs> big chested and it's also making this lay a little bit funky so if you're smaller chested this may not be a great dress for you other than that I love the way it contours my body boom there's like a peekaboo to my non-existent chest we got these adorable little studs down the front there's some nice lining here the seaming is really perfect so when we talk about seaming being good for the body let's talk a little bit about that most people want to accentuate their waist and draw their eye up and down. That's a general thing that most people want. And there's some people that may not want that based on their body shape. So this line is gonna draw you up and down with those grommets. Ooh. And this line is gonna draw you across at the waist. So it's gonna pull in and emphasize a tightened waist. Now when you're wearing a body con, you usually want to emphasize the waist because you're emphasizing kind of the dip curve between the hip and the bust line if you're going for that hourglass or accentuated curved shape. So that's what this is doing is kind of drawing attention there and then drawing the eye up and down, which is gonna trick your eye into there being length. They've done the same thing with the seaming down the front. Again, that's to trick your eye to go up and down. Right there, if you see that lovely seaming. Ooh, seaming. This is literally tricking your eye to look up and down. It's gonna add height and it's also gonna like lengthen and kind of smooth your body out. So that's why you have vertical lines. People say vertical stripes look amazing on everyone. That's not true. Well-placed vertical stripes look good on everybody. And just like horizontal stripes, people say horizontal stripes are terrible. Not true. Well-placed horizontal stripes can actually accentuate areas of your body that you want to. So stripes are really about understanding what you want to accentuate and what you want to diminish on your body. I don't like to talk about ideals because I don't think that's actually important in fashion. I think fashion is about projecting and creating your ideal shape and your ideal vision of your body. And so when you're looking for fashion, you look for items that uh, accentuate the areas of your bodies you want to accentuate and you want to look at things that might diminish the areas you don't like. So I did some videos about that, but I'll do some more in the future. But this is a great example of accentuating height 
and diminishing waistline. Now we are on the last item in the box. I've talked a lot about stuff today. I just felt chatty. Maybe it's because I had a lot of stuff like sitting and waiting and I couldn't film because I didn't have a camera and then I finally got my camera back and I'm like, I just need all the attention I can get from the internet. I don't know. Uh, this is one of the things I saw on the site and I was like, this is either going to be amazing or fug. And it is, I think, amazing. I'm absolutely obsessed with this dress. Like, I love it so, so, so incredibly much. It's so unique. It's so different. I have not seen anything in these colors. These colors are very flattering to me. I just, ah, I really like this one. This is a winner. It is a mock neck mesh shirt that is lined. It is in this amazing Grandma Florals. Can we get a slow clap for Grandma Florals? Because thank goodness they are coming back. I think they are fabulous. The mesh is ruched on the side, so that's gonna again accentuate your curve at your hip and kind of give you some nice shape there. If you're not super big in the hip, it actually will additionally create some space for those who don't because it's gonna create those horizontal lines and kind of draw the eye there. It is really lightweight, actually lighter weight than I thought. This will probably need some tights under it and a jacket over it, that is for sure. As far as what it's made out of, it's probably made of what everything is made out of, which is polyester and rayon or nylon. It's some magical mix of those three, I'm pretty sure. You guys ready for it? Drum roll. Polyester. I was right. But I just think this is super hot, super cute, super appropriate for work, and just fun. You put this necklace on with it, if you get it stuck on you, this is another item you could wear with it. So that, you know, maybe you could just wear the necklace until you have to, until it falls off, like, like a charm bracelet. Except one that taunts you. One that taunts, like a charm bracelet, except one that constantly taunts you because you can't get it off. I might have to leave this on until I can get a friend to take it off. That's the reality of the situation I'm in right now. This is why I don't want to live alone. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm actually very happy living alone. Uh, roommates are hard when you are older because you got your ways, they've got theirs, and no one wants to bend. Anyway, those are all the items from my amazing, fantastic fashion to figure haul. You can check out all of them via the description links down there in that magical box where you put the description, hence why it's called the description box. I will also put the sizes that I got down there. Pretty much everything in my haul is a three. The necklaces are just one size and the glove, I think, are the large. I don't know. I don't, I don't remember. I'll look it up. And if you have any questions, comments, leave them down below. I am trying to answer those more frequently now. And with that, all I can say, guys, is have an amazing day. I love you all. I'll check you later. And peace. Turn off camera. Now I don't know how to turn this off. It's just you and me, little expensive camera. You're gonna turn off. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna force you off and then you're gonna be like, no, I wanna work. I'm like, no, you're going off.